It all started back in 2007 uh, with the acquisition of uh, 81 Bay, which is the site south of the uh, rail land. And this is truly one of the most magnificent projects that we've been involved with, uh, both because it's a city-changing project in one of North America's greatest cities in Toronto, but also the sheer scale of the project itself involving three million square feet being staged over a six-year period. I think it's one of the most important days in our history. It's uh, 10 years of work by all of our teams. Uh, it's a city-changing project, uh, probably the biggest in our history on the office side. The idea that we create um, a series of public spaces that anchor the development into the existing context. So obviously the building will be LEED Platinum, it's being built to those standards and everyone's familiar with that, but less, fewer people are familiar with the well standard. And whilst LEED talks about how the building is built and the materials that are used, the well building standard sort of focuses on the employee. So it talks about access to natural light, nourishment, quality of air. First is we're building the bank of the future. Part of building the bank of the future is not only the technology that we're investing in, but also the physical premises that will be so exciting for our employees and for our clients and for the community to visit. The second reason is the beautiful design, including the urban park, which will be a jewel not only for CIBC, but for the city. And the third reason is because Heinz and Ivanhoe Cambridge and the Case de Depot is involved, and my good friends at all of those firms just do high quality work and we're so pleased to be partnering with them in getting this off the ground. On met une ville au cœur de tout ce qu'on fait et de chaque investissement et Toronto a toujours été une cible très importante pour nous. Integrity, urban responsibility, tenacity, expert knowledge in the field, great public private partnership skills and guts to find Ivanhoe Cambridge under Daniel Fournier's leadership. It allows us to bring together 15,000 employees to foster an environment of collaboration and innovation. And so we're incredibly proud to be standing here today. At the confluence of every major transit channel in Toronto, at an extraordinary location. A decade of collaboration, commitment, and hard work. Uh, but none of this would be coming to fruition without a tenant that shared our vision. So. When I think of the commuters who use the GO bus system, for example, who come into our bus terminal downtown, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds who have that opportunity, take that opportunity on a daily basis, I know that this is extremely exciting for them. It creates jobs, you've heard about it. It's gonna create buildings of excellence. It's gonna create a, a, a modern, connected headquarters for CIBC here in CIBC Square. But it's also going to be the shining example among many that will emerge of transit-oriented development, where we make it not only possible, but we make it desirable for people to use public transportation, which we're building together.